Today you are going to learn how to convert kilowatt to kVA. Kilowatt is real power and kVA is apparent power. On different situations we use different equations or different formulas. I am electrical engineer. Please don't skip this video till its last. Here I am taking an example. In this example we have a transformer here. It is a delta y transformer, distribution transformer. Okay. And here is a panel. It is an MDB, main distribution board. In this distribution board, there are some loads on kilowatt. And here is a capacitor bank on KVAR. This KVAR is for the power factor correction of these loads. Okay. And here we need to find the transformer size. We already know that the transformer size is in KVA. So in this situation, which equation we will use? Here we use this equation, kV equal to root of kW square plus kVAR square. Because the things available in these situations are kilowatt and kVAR. This kilowatt is the total kilowatt of all these loads. See, here is kilowatt, kilowatt, different types of loads are over here. With the total load of that kilowatt square, we will add this kVAR, then we will get the kVA. Now I am taking another situation. Suppose I have a motor, whatever the single phase or three phase motor. We already know that the motor's power is in kilowatt. If somebody asks you how to convert this kilowatt to kVA, then you need to use this equation. Power factor equal to kilowatt by kVA. That means real power by apparent power. From this, we can find the kVA as kVA equal to kilowatt by power factor. Do you know why we have chosen this equation? Because you know, on the motor nameplate, the kilowatt and this power factor is available. That is why we have chosen this equation instead of this one. Because in this equation, we need this kVAR. But one important thing is, if you want to use this same equation for to find the kVA of this motor, you can do that. You need only one thing, that is this kVAR. Then how to find this kVAR? For the three phase, we can find this kVAR by using this equation root 3 Vi sin theta into efficiency. Okay, and for the single phase, the equation is kVAR equal to Vi sin theta into efficiency. Okay, so for to find this kVAR, we need this sin theta. How to find this sin theta? We can use the equation sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Then sin theta is equal to root of 1 minus cos square theta. I just rearranged this equation. And after getting this sin theta, put that sin theta on this equation. You know, this cos square theta is nothing but the power factor on the motor's nameplate. After you calculate this kVR, just put everything on this equation, then you will get this kVA. But the problem here is it is lot of difficult and time consuming. So what do you think about this? Please give me your comments and please like this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. By doing so, you will not miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.